What's going on guys? Clutch here looking at the Kloss DLC expansion for Farming Simulator 19. This is the Platinum expansion coming later this fall, October 22nd. That's a Tuesday. We can expect to see this Kloss DLC drop. Now today we're going to be looking at all the equipment that we currently know about and we're going to be also looking at some of the mods that may be available right now that you could try just if you wanted to get into it a little bit, get into the Kloss spirit and start playing with some more Kloss equipment if you're on PC especially of course guys. So there's 35 vehicles and pieces of equipment that are included with this DLC package. There's quite a bit we've already been told about but there's a lot we don't know yet as well. So I'm going to talk about just the stuff that we know about currently and we're going to compare that to kind of some of the stuff that's out there that you can download for yourself right now. Anyways guys, let's dive in. Let's start off with some of the tractors. So the first tractor on the list is the Kloss Arian 660 and the 610. This is a medium sized tractor guys. This tractor ranges from 145 to 200 horsepower. Now, currently in game, we don't have anything that's even kind of remotely close to this to be perfectly honest. The one you see in front of you here, this is the Kloss Arian 420. There's not a lot of options with this particular mod, but it is the closest thing we have to that particular tractor. Now this one here is only 100 horsepower. That's all you're gonna get out of this thing. It's definitely a little bit on the small side as far as that goes, but this is the closest thing you're gonna find currently to that area, the 660 and 610. But you're looking probably 50 horsepower short by minimum. Then we move on to the Kloss Axion 870, 800 series. Now this one here, guys, this tractor holds roughly it has about 205 horsepower base up to around the 300 horsepower range. This is a medium sized tractor, not bad. Now, if we go in game, we do have a mod somewhat similar to that. Here we've got the 810 Axion. Now this one here is a little bit different. It's a little less, a little underpowered by comparison, but not much. I think we base, we started around 175 horsepower. We can bump this up to, I think it's the 830 model. It goes up to, I believe 245 horsepower, somewhere in that range. But this one here has a nice grill up front. I love when they do this. But this Sierra mod, yeah, definitely a nice looking uh, mod for sure of the Kloss 800 series. And moving up into our large tractor section, guys. This here is the Kloss 900 series, 920 to 960 more specifically. Of course, it's a large tractor. Its base will start you around 325 horsepower, moves all the way up to 445 horsepower. This is a very popular tractor and well, very popular in the modding community as well. There is a number of 900, mod, 900 series mods. We've got one right in front of us here. This is the 920 that I've got in front of us. Now, it is almost identical as far as horsepower goes to the base game or the DLC one that's coming out. This one does go from 320 horsepower instead of 325, and it goes all the way up to the 445, I believe it is. So this one here, almost identical, I bet, to what we'll be seeing in DLC. There's a lot of these mods out there for the 900 series. Very popular, large tractor. And as for our last confirmed tractor mod, it's the Class Zerian 4000 and 5000 series. Now this large tractor, well, it is what exactly you think. It's got a lot of horsepower, 435 base. The uh, 5000 series has 530 horsepower. So quite a bit there. And the Zerian 4000 you see in front of you, well, very similar in looks, of course. Now, the nice thing about this, is, guys, it's a crab steering tractor. Uh, it also has a reversible cab, so the cab can be completely reversed on this. This all works in this mod as well, of course. Not only that, guys, this one here is almost identical as horsepower. I think it's about 10 horsepower off what the, uh, this, the rated one for the DLC package is. It's 425, I believe, to 520, depending on model. But this is a fantastic mod. A lot of fun to drive this tractor. Really enjoy messing around with this one here. That is for sure. All right, so that is what we know for tractors. Let's keep on moving down the list and see what else we can find. So moving on to foragers now and harvesters, I should say. We do have two foragers, foragers harvesters that have been confirmed. Well, technically three. Now, the first one, the, the Takano 580 harvester, guys. This is a standard harvester, of course. The Jaguar 960 TT is a forage harvester. Now, both of these, we don't really have anything that's exactly like that as far as mods go. So these are something that are kind of unique in a sense. As well, we've had somewhat of a confirmation on the Kloss 8900 series harvester that'll be coming as well. There's just not a lot of information out on that as of yet. I'm assuming we'll see some of that a little bit closer to, uh, to release date. Now, like I said, we do have these two harvesters that have been confirmed. What can we do for mods? Well, we've got the Lexian 780, which is always a favorite of mine at least. Um, it is a pretty standard affair, but you got the tracked options, of course, with this harvester. That's always nice. So that's a 780. That's somewhat comparable to the 580. It's probably a, a, 
a mix between the 580 actually and the 8900 series which is coming out later we'll find some more information on that then if we move over down here we do have a couple forage harvesters now this actually is, this is the 800 series i believe right here this is the 840 sorry the 950 is right over there very similar to the 960 tt however the 960 tt is a track version we don't have that track version in a forage harvester but we do have two different options we have the 800 and the 900 of course both come with uh, you can either have a, a mower pickup system or you can have the forage harvester head depending on what you'd like to go with there very similar to the ones we do have that will be coming with the dlc package um, there's not much of a change there same with the harvester heads you do have I think actually this here, the Corino 875, which is actually the same as the one that's coming with the DLC package. You can see that how that one works. That head is actually part of, it would be part of the DLC package. There are a couple heads that are a little bit different, but in the grand scheme of things, these are obviously fairly similar to what you will see uh, come the DLC. And moving down into some more of the equipment options, the Claus Cargos 760 trailer. This is a 51,000 liter capacity trailer, guys. We really do not have anything that's quite like this in a mod. Uh, this is a nice looking trailer from what we can see so far, but we don't have a mod that kind of emulates this yet at all. Hopefully uh, we'll see what this looks like from the DLC time. Then moving on to the more package, the Kloss more package, we have the Disco 3600C and the Disco 1100C for the rear of the tractor. These are roughly 3.4 meters and 10 meters in uh, diameter each. Now nice mower pack we also have these as mods or something very similar at least in front of us here we have this is the 3600 i believe a 3600 on this one yeah 3600 is on the front so this is the same as the front mower looks a little bit different than the image but it's uh it is the same model number same size between three and a half meters on the rear however we have this one here which is not the, third, the 11 or the 10,000 which one is this one 8500 series that's what it is and this one is a little bit smaller at 9.9 .9 meters so or nine and a half meters i believe so it's not quite the full 10 but it is very very close by comparison and they both look great so this is another option you may have if you're looking at getting a more a class more package now also here guys we have the class at least a 936rz now this tracker itself I believe it has been discontinued by Kloss. It's no longer in manufacture, being manufactured. However, there is a mod for this, of course, and it kind of is an interesting spot. It would be very similar to possibly the Arian 660-610 that we really don't have anything on, possibly even upwards of the uh, Axion 800 series. So this is a kind of a, a middle of the road tractor that uh, is a little bit bigger than, well, our Arian right down here. What is it? The, uh, yeah, the Arian 420. So it's kind of more of a middle of the road tractor. It's not a bad option as well if you're looking for adding another mid-range or a small tractor to your fleet. And for our last piece of equipment mods or a piece of equipment mods other than, well, some weights, uh, we have the Kloss Roland 455 RC Unwrap. So this is a bale wrapper. Did I say unwrap? Uni-wrap. You know what I mean. <laughs> uh, it's a round bale wrapper, guys. Exactly as you'd expect looks good a little bit different than the looks of the other wrappers we have currently in game and well we have it for as a mod as well the exact same model looks identical as far as i can tell this is a great looking mod so this here guys like i said the roland 455 rc uni wrap for our last category if we take a look at the bonus equipment so stuff you're going to get with the pre-order of the dlc package well, we have a couple pieces of equipment. The first one here, the Dominator 108 SL Maxi Harvester. This comes with a header and a header trailer, the C510 header. Now, there's nothing quite like this. This is a little bit different. It's a little bit of an older harvester, and we don't quite have anything that's very similar to this at all in game. We do have the Dominator, what is it, 208 in the mod hub. That's gotta be the closest thing to this particular harvester, guys. So that would be it for that. Now also, the Torian 1914 Dev Mule Reel Loader. So we have seen this one here, and we also have it in the traditional Kloss colors as well. This is a Kloss Wheel Loader. Now this one is a little bit different. We don't have this exact model anywhere as a, as a mod anywhere. However, we do have, is it the 915, I believe? No, the 1511, sorry. The 1511. So this is a little less power, but this is a front wheel loader, of course, that is, well, Kloss branded, the Torian 511. Very similar. There's no other paint schemes for this one, however. You are stuck with just the Kloss colorings. 
So anyways, guys, that there is what we know about the Kloss Platinum DLC package or expansion that is going to be coming out later on this year. Like I said, October 22nd is the date, the release date for that Kloss DLC package. Its price will be $19.99 US dollars. Can't wait to see this. Um, I hope some of this, these mods help you kind of bridge the gap until we get to that point. I am still really excited to see some of the new Claw stuff that comes out because there is a lot of equipment in this DLC package that just isn't quite included out in the mod area yet. The stuff has not been done uh, that's exactly the same as that. So it's really good to see that as being an option now. But this may help you just kind of bridge the gap and get to that DLC release date. Of course, I will include all links to the mods that I've mentioned here that I like to use personally. I've used quite a few of these actually down in the description below so you can click on that. If you guys, if you have any questions on any of this stuff, drop a comment down below in the comment section. Love to hear from you guys there. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like and I will see you guys next time. This is Clutch, over and out.